When hunting for platinum trophies, it's very easy to realize how much you've improved since the beginning of your journey. Yeah. <laughs> but with this game, you not only realize it, you also feel it. Oh my god, finally! Now I'm no stranger to Beat Saber as I played the hell out of it on PSVR 1, but it had been three years since the last time I played, and I was curious if I still maintained the skill that I had once built. So, logically, I booted up the tutorial. Now cut the cubes in the arrow direction and Whoa, match the color. excuse that me? Too soon. Okay. <laughs> Failing the first block, this is a good sign. Wait, actually though, what? I'm getting f***ing robbed. Getting robbed. <laughs> this should be fun. But upon completion of the tutorial, we got our first trophy. The first part of the trophy list I wanted to take on pertained to the campaign, as this mode serves as a good primer for the real shit that comes down the line. And at first, I thought I was going to struggle real hard through the campaign like I did several years ago. But to be honest, I was kind of vibing. All right. I feel like a Street Fighter Idol animation with how I'm dancing. Alright. That's easy, this game's gonna be easy. And easy was right, as I popped three trophies upon the completion of Mission 3 in the campaign. Pure for clearing any level without any modifiers. Good enough for getting an A rank on any level while playing on normal difficulty, and pay attention for clearing a level on normal with at least a 50 combo. A little later in the campaign, I came across a level that required me to not only reach a 50 combo on normal difficulty, but to also do that while the arrows that tell you how you should be cutting the blocks are disappearing as they're coming at you. Land around the beat. Oh, yeah. And once I completed this level, I got another trophy for clearing any level with the disappearing arrows modifier. Not long after that was another mission with a modifier that makes the song 20% faster. Oh, f okay. All right, let's do this one. It's quicker. Oh, oh no. To be honest, it seems scary, but it wasn't that difficult because the song was only on normal difficulty, so once I cleared the song, I got a trophy for clearing any level with the faster song modifier on. A few missions later, there are requirements that count how much your hands should be moving throughout the level. In this case, I have to move my hands a minimum of 650 meters, but my dyslexic ass read it as maximum. Oh, I gotta... Gotta dance like a, a wallflower. Oh, I read it wrong. I read it wrong. I should be doing more. Okay. All right. But on the bright side, I did earn a trophy for getting a 100 combo on hard difficulty. I then proceeded to attempt the level the correct way. But for the sake of my photosensitive friends out there, I won't show most of the gameplay footage because of how intense my gyrations were at some points. And once I cleared the level a second time, I earned another trophy for clearing a level with an S rank on hard difficulty. Following this, I cruised through a good chunk of the campaign mode with minimal hiccups, but it wasn't long before I started to reach my skill roof as I began to face missions on expert difficulty. That is, that is difficult on the arm. Oh, man. And this is the point where the campaign really doesn't play around, as you have shit like this. Let's try it. This one can't be that hard, right? Okay, maybe I stand corrected. But before we get too ahead of ourselves, I did earn a few trophies on the way to that nightmare. Those being progress for completing 30 missions in campaign mode, drill for getting a total of 10,000 good cuts or more, on the edge for clearing a level with the one life modifier, 
And then there's the trophy charge, which is for clearing a level with the four lives modifier, which basically means you can only mess up four blocks in the entire level. Oh no, oh, shit. All right, <clears throat> this is easy though. I got this. It's not, it's not tracking my hands. Like, what the f do you want from me? I eventually got to a point where I said, screw it. And I did a few other levels to find some new energy and then came back to the level and did it on my first try. Thus popping said trophy. I then proceeded to make it to the end of the campaign and finish the last level, which earned me the Not The End trophy. And Not The End is right, as I did skip over a few missions that kind of kicked my balls into my throat. Oh, oh shit. Okay. All right. oh, no. <laughs> There's this one mission towards the end of the campaign that contains one of my favorite songs in the whole game. However, this track unfortunately doesn't have content ID turned off on YouTube, so I can't play the audio. For this six minute long mission, you have to score a minimum of 500,000 points while also moving your arms a minimum of 1,700 meters. And things were going fine to the point that I got lost in the music. So lost that it took me six minutes to realize something. Oh. All right, time to build up to 1,700. <laughs> Wait, wh Oh. Oh, no. I misread it again. I was joking. I didn't know I actually had to made it to 1,700. My dyslexia strikes again. But on the bright side, I actually enjoyed this song, so I wasn't too bothered having to play through it again. And by the end, I came out on top. All that was left after that was Mission 17B. And I just want to say, whoever made this mission, I just want to talk. To break it down, you're only allowed to miss a maximum of four blocks. You can make bad cuts as much as you want, but the real kicker here is that it's one-handed expert mode, which I would argue is harder than two-handed expert mode because of patterns like this. Am I going too fast, maybe? But after a little while, I started to get a handle on things and was making it pretty far into the song. But I, for some reason, had to make it close. That's not it. What am I missing? What's this one? Yeah, I miscounted how many missions I had left, but upon mission 14A's completion, I popped the Peace Trophy for completing every mission in the campaign mode. Now it's time to focus on getting full combos and S ranks on 15 different songs, starting with hard difficulty. So to get a full combo, you have to hit every single note in a song. No duh, right? And to get an S rank means to get a very high score within the song, which can be added up in multiple ways. One, building a high multiplier through combos. Two, hitting the centermost part of each block. And three, making sure that you swing 90 degrees before making contact with the note. Yes, this does influence how many points you get per block. Having gone through the campaign and experiencing BS like Mission 17B, I felt like I was pretty well prepared to take on these trophies. This is making me sweat. Weakness. Although I will admit, there were definitely times where the game kind of shook up things on me. Oh, oh shit. All right, f you game. <laughs> but regardless, after a little bit of trials and tribulations, I got not only the precision trophy for getting 15 S ranks on hard levels, but also the drum kit trophy for getting 15 full combos on hard levels. And now the real shit begins. You ready? Because now I have to do everything all over again, but on expert difficulty. And not only that, I also have to get a double S rank on expert, which requires you to get no less than 90% of all points in a song. And of course, that was the trophy that I wanted to get out of the way first. And my song of choice for this 
was legend. I'm a living legend. You ain't heard yet, you not get the message. From the moment that I'm stepping in, I get a couple weapons, yeah, I turn to a beast when I'm repping. You're probably asking, why this song? Well, little Timmy, I'm glad you asked. This song is about two minutes long, which requires me to not focus as hard over a long period of time, and the song's also good as hell. Need I say more? And when attempting this trophy, I was kind of hoping that my savant syndrome would kick in, but... Can I get this first try? Let's see. No, I can't. <laughs> okay, hold on. Ooh, quick. What? F you, game. Give me that. Come on now. Don't start this on this. Please. Following this, I proceeded to make more and more small mistakes that would progressively make me become saltier than a goldfish. Alright, game, come on now. Alright, I think I swung too soon on that one. Number 15. Come on, you got this. You not get the message. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh, <f> <laughs> okay, all right, you got this. <laughs> For real this time, you got this. Please. Yes! Oh, okay. Okay. That should be another one though, right? Yes. Okay. All right, I still got it. I still got it. With the double S rank trophy now over with, it's time to focus on getting S ranks and full combos on expert difficulty. That should be easy now that we got the double S rank trophy, right? Oh, what? I call bullshit on that one. Memeing aside, I actually got a lot of these full combos and S ranks faster than I anticipated, and even earned a few trophies along the way, such as Focus for getting a 500 combo during a level on Expert, and Hope for getting S ranks on 15 different levels while playing on Expert difficulty. And it was at this point where I realized I was settling with doing these trophies the easy way, and so I wanted to up the difficulty a bit. You see, I've mostly clung to the OST Volumes 1 and 2 as they're very beginner-friendly, but I felt like for variety's sake, I wanted to branch out a bit and experience Volume 3 to see if I could accomplish what young, more spry, Scott with hair couldn't do. Full Combo, my favorite song in the whole game on Expert. And before I got to this level, I made sure to full combo 14 other levels on Expert so that the trophy would pop here. Also, side note, I almost forgot. While I was warming up for this with some Lincoln Park, I got the warm-up trophy for clearing 100 levels. Hey! I can't play that audio, but okay. <laughs> the first few attempts at this song were actually quite promising. I was making it really far into the song and was actually getting better with each passing attempt. Oh, f you. <laughs> I was feeling that one. Yeah. F a. I'm swinging at it. Oh, that was weak. Oh, damn it, that sucks. That was weak. And then old man Gray Scott syndrome started to kick in. What? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. <clears throat> yes. As each attempt blew by like a fart in the wind, it was slowly feeling like this task was impossible for me to achieve. 
but I pushed through it, refusing to accept anything less. Okay. <laughs> no way, dude. What did I, how did I miss that? Come on. After some time, I had to accept that today wasn't the day, but tomorrow, you were mine. So I took the night off and decided that it would be best for me to utilize the practice mode to get the later parts down, and while that did help, still it didn't stop me from eating shit. I then just needed to see something new, so I dipped my toe into volume 5 and swiftly had it bitten off. Jesus Christ. But I picked myself back up, regained my composure, and locked in for one last attempt at give a little love before I give a little up for the day. God, yes! <laughs> Shit! Oh god. Oh my god, finally! <laughs> yes! Oh, that took forever. And I got a double S rank. I didn't pop the trophy though. That is my 15th. I guess I have to do one more. I don't give a shit, I'm cheating this last one. I deserve it. Yeah, for some reason, despite having done 15 full combos on expert mode, the trophy didn't pop. So I turned on a bunch of modifiers, as you're allowed to do that for this trophy, and attempted a song. Or three. And miserably failed at them all, despite making them easier. And then randomly... Oh, okay. What? Why did I pop there? <laughs> okay, whatever. I don't care. I got my f***ing win with this song. I got my win. Now all that's left are the huge grind trophies, and so I played the game some more, and the first trophy I got was the Traveler Trophy, which is for accumulating 100 kilometers by hand movements. I then was curious about the other songs that I missed out on during the first half of this grind, and so I tried out Volume 4 and 5 and was surprised by how much I had improved since the beginning of this trophy hunt. But after many MONTHS of playing this game off and on, I had finally accumulated 100 million points, which pops the 100 million trophy. The final trophy I needed was to get a total play time of 24 hours, and for this trophy, the only time that is counted is what's spent within a song. None of the time spent within menus and such are counted for this trophy, so I did a mix of two things. One. I actually played the game in my spare time. And two, I'd let the game run on no fail mode while I'm doing some other shit. And once enough time had passed, I finally got the day and night trophy, which would also pop the platinum trophy. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Woohoo! Let's go! There it is! Woo! Even well after getting the platinum trophy, I find myself coming back to Beat Saber regularly as I just can't get enough of the game. And what's great is that they even added another volume to the OST recently. Uh, let's just say I'm gonna need more time to master it. <laughs> Overall, if I were to rate my experience platting Beat Saber, I'd give it a difficulty rating of 8 out of 10, since you really gotta work to get some of these trophies. I hope y'all enjoyed my gamer body adventures. That sounds a little weird. <laughs> If you want to experience me going for Platinums Live, go ahead and check out my Twitch channel. It's the same name over there. I hope to see y'all in the next one because it's going to be a big special one. Eat ass forever.